everybody, and welcome to the Sunshine State. So if y'all know me, you know it takes a lot for me to leave Texas, but we're here for a very good reason, and that's because my hometown heroes, the 2017 World Series champions, Houston Astros, are here for spring training. So when we were asked if we wanted to head to the ballpark, catch a game, and maybe meet some of the players, I was like, um, yeah. But I'm super excited to be here, so before we head on over to the game, we thought we'd take in a little sun and check out a little bit of what Florida has to offer. Now, personally, I'm a sunshine girl, so I love beaches. In Florida, they have 660 miles of beaches, just like this one. Now, there are so many different ways to enjoy the beach, but one water sport caught my eye, paddle boarding. Now, I'm not exactly an expert, so I met up with Troy to give me a few pointers. Today, I figured I'd take you on a little paddleboard lesson. You're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one today. First things first is how you're holding your paddle is really important. When you go from one side, you have to flip and go to the other side to have strength in your paddling. When you get on a board and you don't flip over and you just do this, and I just yeah, all you're doing is pushing water around. Okay. And I kind of giggle a little bit because it looks funny. <laughs> the center of the board is where your body has to be at all times. When you're ready for the position of standing, it's very important that you get your structure of your body together first. You kind of want to point your direction of your paddle board in the direction that you want to go. Crossover. I think I got some good advice. <laughs> okay. Ah. Ba backwards. Ba that's forward. No. No. Wait. <laughs> there you go. That's backwards. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, cross. cross over. There you go. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. I need to back up. Yep. Uh, you didn't cross over. <laughs> I'm going in circles. Paddle backwards, otherwise you're going to hit the jet skis. <gasps> Okay, hold on, I'm just taking a break. Okay, do y'all have sharks out here? When can I stand up? Never? Okay. Backwards paddle. Backwards paddle. Yep. Backwards paddle. Ah! I'm standing. Y'all, I'm actually doing this. I am paddle boarding in yeah. Florida. And I stick the landing. Well, I appreciate you coming out. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Please, inv please invite everybody to come down from Texas. That's great. All right, that was an absolute blast. But now, it's time to head over to spring training. So every year, the Houston Astros travel to Florida for spring training. And every year, they're followed by a hardcore group of fans who come here to see their players up close and personal. Oh my god, you guys. The MVP, Jose Altuve, is standing right there. How freaking cool is this? Being that it was my first time at this stadium, I met up with the general manager to give me a little more info. Can you tell me a little bit about what makes this ballpark so special? We are the newest spring training facility right now. and We're 160 acres big, but once you enter the stadium, it, you have a full walk around concourse. You have kind of a panoramic view of the stadium the moment you enter it. So the first big difference you notice is obviously the stadium. Now don't get me wrong, I love Minute Maid Park, but there's also a lot to love about the ballpark of the Palm Beaches. For starters, the stadium's a lot smaller. It fits about 7,000 people, and every single one of them has a great view. It's a really nice facility. We've, we've been to, we went to the spring training facility for the Dodgers at Vero Beach many years ago, and this is much nicer. You can tell it's new, and they've really put a lot of thought into making it enjoyable for the fans. Honestly, when the Houston Astros played in Kissimmee, I grew up playing in that ballpark, and my parents are buried next to that field, so. I have a lot of good memories with the Astros, but the World Series one's a pretty good one. I'm watching the Astros play the Cardinals. Watch the Astros beat the Cardinals. Ooh, that was a strong one. We were at an Astros game, I think it was two years ago, when Mike Fires pitched his no-hitter. The boys, uh, you know, were there too, so it was a good family experience. I can't say enough how much I love my Astros, but one subject that is particularly close to my heart is also something that I share with one of the players. We wanted to do something for everybody here. And it's about time 
we brought something home for the great city of Houston. SAY is the Stuttering Association for the Young, and, and it's a group organization um, that that helps put kids in touch with you know other kids of 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 that you know the same nature, and it has a gr uh, a great camp that kids can go to and just be around people who are like themselves and and you know to not feel isolated. It was so cool to see someone be so open, and I was. I'm wondering if you've always been that open about it. No, uh, it took me probably till I was about 24, 20, yeah, about 24 to be like, you know what, who cares, you know, I am who I am. I can't control it, so I might as well just kind of embrace it from there. After the opportunity of a lifetime, I was getting hungry, and no baseball game is complete without a hot dog. Like both mustard and ketchup. There's no better way to spend a Friday night than hot dogs, beer, and baseball. That's good. Oh! Dang, got out! All right, guys, that does it for me here at Palm Beach. This was such an incredible experience, and if you're a baseball fan, you should definitely put this on your bucket list. After all, you know what we say, you only live once. Want to check out a game for yourself? Visit the link below for more information.